everything that's that underpins that it's the people's response to it being well, I w- wish the wind was a little bit different so the shot would have landed like the people saying this are likely just the average person likely kind individuals in normal respects but like in this one case that feels morally justified because of the rhetoric it's kind of one of those things where it's like if we if we you know took this exact situation and we just subtracted like 50 years 40 years even you would have um you know there there would be a situation where there was probably a very similar level of discourse happening around any sort of event like this that an employer or a uh, you know an institution would would you would never have like they would never know they would never have any cause to know that you know what people talk about in their own homes but because we, we you know of the age we live in you put the stuff online and you know there becomes a viral kind of movement around it and before you know it it's you know it's a it's a very even though yes you're 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 posting it publicly but most of these people especially elderly people you could probably assume believe that what their public posts are, are mostly just circulated around their friends or followers that they their small group of people that they have online and then before you know it it becomes an an international scandal you know you just the the just the technology didn't exist for such things you know and, until the, very the recently the amplifications there so it's like you you think you're just sending a message to a small group but if something goes viral it gets amplified outside of your circle and now it has unlimited reach in a way so yeah. it can get very loud very quickly for somebody who does not think that it all be seen by that many people which maybe they would have worded it differently if they yeah. knew that it was it was going to be passed around um i so the rhetoric i'm not surprised though um because if you if you look at the, everything that's been said up to this point trump has been painted as a the next hitler basically like Mm -hmm. that somehow he's going to end democracy if he's get getting elected he's going to be it's going to be a dictatorship like he had his chance for four years to end democracy but he didn't take it um you don't have to like him but either he's incompetent at ending democracy because he couldn't do it in four years and he needs another four years so people are going to vote him in so he can end democracy from now on like for good now um (laughs) But if if people truly believe what has been said about him, I I think people things like well, if you have a chance to, to like time machine, you go back in time. Like, would you put a pillow over the little little baby Hitler's crib, little like baby Adolf? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's that yeah, same I know. kind I, of scenario. I they, they feel like it's somewhat morally justified. Like if it's a preventing yeah. a greater evil, if it's framed to be a similar degree of, uh, of, if the risk, if the threat level is just as high. And I think the threat level is only measured through your perceived number of mentions and like how vitriolic the messaging is behind it. So if you measure it based on that and not by actions, people can believe that quite easily. Yeah. Well, and I mean, uh, Dave Smith, who we'll, we'll hear from a little bit here, had a, had a tweet right away, uh, after it happened where, you know, you, you know, the, the attempt happens and then you hear uniform messaging from the media of like, you know, uh, this is not, uh, you know, this is not how we do things in America. You know, we, we're a, we're a peaceful nation. We can't be resorting to violence, et cetera, et cetera. Right. And he's like, well, how are you going to like, exactly like you said, how are you going to be the, the media government apparatus that for the last eight years has been shouting from the rooftops about how, you know, Trump is a threat to democracy. He's in collusion with Russia. He's going to, uh, you know, turn the country into a dictatorship. He's, he's in some cases, as in the case of that, wasn't it there a time, time magazine cover that had him like photoshopped next to Hitler and like talking about like, you cannot do that and at the same time act shocked and, and righteously indignant when someone goes, you know, you get into somebody's head and they go, oh, well, you know, I'm, I'm going to be that hero that's going to, you know, stop this, the evil orange man, right? 